just get this over with already. Who am I? You don't need to know that. Just call me a hoodie. You're in an abandoned factory. I brought you here myself after knocking you out. Well, I need you because you are my target for tonight. The boss said so. Target for murder, of course. You're going to be my sacrifice for tonight. No hard feelings. You seem like a nice person. But I'm only doing what I'm told to. And if I don't, then I'll get thrown out like the others. Look, I don't want to do it. Trust me. I'd rather be a normal human being. Live a normal life, get a job, family, and then die. But no. I'm here with my brother and other associates. We serve under him. And if we don't do his biddings, he'll kill us and toss us into the street. Like we're trash. Well, now that I mentioned it, I guess I can explain it to you. Since, well, you're not going to remember stuff when you're dead. My name's Hoodie. I work under the Slender Man. We are his proxies. My brother, Maskey, is somewhere else. Giving his sacrifice as well. And then, our associate, Toby, he's also getting another sacrifice. Toby is the second-hand man to the Slender Man, our boss. The Slender Man, he took us all in. Kind of like a father figure of some sort. He saw potential in us. Most of us, we were just going to end it all, honestly. We had no point in living. But just psychotic teenagers. But no. Well, not now. But back then, we were. But now, we're full of adults, grown up. And we still work under him. Because we have nowhere else to go. If you want to know, it's a long story, honestly. I'd rather not say why. So, let me keep this brief, alright? I don't want to explain myself anymore, and I explained too much already. We don't really allow you each other to talk about the boss and what he does. But, uh, well... I kind of already did explain it. Fuck. I got carried away again with the explanation. Well, you heard enough already. It's time for you to die. No hard feelings. You seem like a decent person. Do you have a family? Do you love them so? You would do anything to help them survive. That's what I thought. Everyone does. Let's just hope your family is in the next targets on our list. <sighs> Say goodbye. <sighs> Every time, it always happens like this.
Who's there? I can hear you. You heard me, didn't you? Come out. There you are. Well, I was only allowed to sacrifice one person tonight for the boss's needs. But, since you heard what I said, you most likely have it on recording. And most likely bring it to the police and show them what you saw me just do there. I have no choice but to kill you as well. But not as a sacrifice. No. <laughs> I'll do it on my own free will this time. I haven't had a fun kill in a while. And my brother, Maski, always steals that opportunity from me. So, I'll give you a five second head start. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's always fun to chase these victims. <laughs> Little did I know, my boss has given us each a gift of some sort. You really think it was that easy to get away from me? No. Although, it hurts like a bastard to use these things. I enjoy using it sometimes. These tendrils my boss has gifted me. Have a lot with running victims like yourself. Makes me very useful with killing others by myself. It also helps that these are very strong and I can use them at any time. By ripping my victims into pieces. Mostly in half. Mostly. But, uh, it's time for uh, you to die now, because, well, you want to be a hero, right? Heroes don't exist. There's people in costumes who want to help others. But when they realize that helping others is a lot of bullshit, and when they realize that killing people with their powers is a lot more easier than helping others, they go a little bit crazy. And they don't know where to go. Use their craziness. Let's hope he's satisfied. satisfied.